Hello YouTube, we're back. So, there's been this game that I've been following for a while and really excited for it called Girls Frontline 2. Now, hear me out. I, I know. I, I get it. Um, uh, I get it. Um, now, the issue is, it's, it already came out this year, right? Which, I mean, is so dead. But, it's just like, it's anime XCOM. I can't, you know, I, I can't. It's just, XCOM has been like a big part of it's like my life at this point God, it's kind of crazy actually um because i just play so much of it like xcom 2 xcom enemy unknown and move in all that i've even played some of the, like the og ones but not too much just like enemy unknown or two has been like the main ones right but it's just like that just sounds great like a gacha strategy game finally that's not like tower defense because tower defense kind of lame right um uh, well this is not it's actually really cool tower defense but like the way they do it in gacha games is kind of lame in my opinion um, but yeah, Curse of Rider, I can't wait. So there's been this like, um, so it came out on CN like I don't know, like a long time ago now. Um, but it's finally coming out to global, and I can't wait. And to be honest, it kind of looks like they're gonna be doing like the Snowbreak route a little bit, you know, like the checking out the girls and doing all of that stuff. So that's gonna be interesting. That's gonna be my first game that's like that that I've played on Twitch and YouTube, I guess. I played those type of games before, but like not too much, because uh, I ended up, you know, quitting because they're dumb. But we had this thing, the official release trailer. Let's look at this. Yeah, this. So I saw this and I was like, oh, that looks interesting. Also, I'm just up like this because uh, this is during a uh, lighter's re release, so I dressed up, you know, like leather and you know, cool sunglasses for lighter, right? Because I ended up pulling them in Zelda Zone Zero. Man, but I'm not worried here so let's check this out i don't know it also looks cool i feel like like it looks good you know also this is the game where like the girls are named after the guns which is like Kind of cool, I guess. Okay, we have some ninjas. Okay, some. I have some Aboba. That was pretty cool. The MC's face looked kind of weird, or whoever that guy was. Damn, so this game really didn't make that much money to get English voices, eh? That's crazy. That's gonna be like the first JP gaching on that play then. Okay. Okay, this is just like, all like cinematic stuff, this is not how the game is. So I don't really care that much. I mean, it looks good, I like it. Like, it doesn't look like... Oh, is it like 20 FPS? What's happening? I hope it's 60 FPS in game. Oh, now it's back to 60. What, what was that? <laughs> I guess that cutscene was just low FPS. Gameplay shock. It's okay, here we go. Finally. The same thing battle maps. Sure, okay. Diverse boss challenges. Creepy doll. Darchor. Dykecraft. Or Dykecraft. Okay. Multi strategy. Why is she in a bikini? So you see, that's what I mean about like the snow break, <laughs> right? It's, uh, it's... Yeah, they're rolling bikinis, hello? Okay, yeah, interesting. Oh, you can customize weapons. Look at the characters. Okay, 
Let's get over it. I get it. This is not what I'm excited about the game, by the way. I just want it because it's XCOM, right? Want to try it out. Okay. Cool. What is December third actually? Because yeah, because there was like um, like the beta already happened, right? And like people were playing that. But yeah. So it looks like there's gonna be two different game modes. There's gonna be like XCOM, and there's gonna be like Nikkei. Okay, interesting. Hopefully this Nikkei game mode... Is oh yeah, it's a mini game. Okay, so that's not part of the game. Cool, I was getting worried first because I was like, if this is like part of the actual gameplay loop, then... Uh, be kind of crazy. Because that could be like 50% of it, right? And I was like, hmm... Oh, great. So they do have ulties, it looks like. It's like she ran up and like... Done something. Jumped on a rubber duck, duck I guess. Um... Kind of cool. This is kind of cool. This reminds me of like suppression from XCOM. Or it could just be like a, you know, heavy spray. Wait, it looks like this shows me that there's like complicated skills to use, you know what I mean? I don't know. Like you have choices, you know? Like now just like shoot for a grenade and like Overwatch. It has to be Overwatch in this game, right? There's no way. But yeah, like hunker down, you know, stuff like that. Like, you actually have, like, different classes do stuff. That's pretty cool. I'm just wondering how, like, how complicated this game is gonna get. Again, I haven't watched any CN stuff. I know EN or, like, global players have been playing CN already. So, like, they know everything. But, don't worry, I will catch up to CN in one day on that December 3rd. But, um, I like it. It's interesting. And, yeah, if... I really hope the gameplay sells me for it, because like I really need this type of strategy game in my life. I need another XCOM, you know? This time just gacha, which is kind of cool. I hope the gacha system is like, okay. I haven't seen anything again. I have nothing. I don't know. I'm going to go in blind, because, you know, it's fun to go in blind. And I feel like I know enough about gachas where I can like not make stupid mistakes with like my currency and stuff like that. So, without knowing the actual game. So, hopefully that should be okay. But, yeah. It's, a. Uh, I like it. I can't wait. But, yeah. Also, only JP voices. Maybe. Maybe this was just a trailer thing. But, maybe the game will have Ian voices. I don't know. But, if it's only JP, then I guess that's fine. I'm not really, you know, hyped about that. I wish to hear English voices. But, I mean, there you go. Um... I wonder if this game will do good in EN. But yeah. It'll definitely do good in JP, I feel like. Because that's why they have JP voices, right? And all that. But I don't know about EN. Or like Europe, right? Like Europe, North America. How this is going to get viewed. But I feel like because of the snow break elements, you know what I mean? Um, it's not going to be viewed that great. Because Snowbreak only came back from, like, Japan and China, right? Like, in... Like, he and didn't really come back because of that. So, yeah. Because we're not really about that. But hopefully the gameplay is good. I just hope the gameplay is good. And, like, the characters are cool and interesting. Please. But I wonder, like... How much of a difference is going to make, like, between... Like, 5 stars and 4 star characters, you know? And, like, their monetization. How is that going to be... And because I haven't played Girls from like one either, so I don't know how that was. And like, um, if you can actually have that much skill, you know, and if the only luck is like the percent chance to hit, you know, or the percent chance to hit you, if that's it, then I think that's gonna be great, you know. This like XCOM style games has been like a formula that's like great. It's amazing. You get like, you know, the random. You get the replayability. You get, I don't know, strategy. You get like the frustrations, right? Um, all of that. You can make easy mistakes, you know, that will lose the fight. You know, you moved out of full cover into half cover and then you die. You know, stuff like that. Um, 
So yeah, that's why in like modded XCOM, you just stay in full cover all the time. Even if you're like far away, just wait for them to come to you, you know? While you're in full cover, don't don't go to half cover. Otherwise you're gonna die. But yeah. That is pretty cool. I can't wait. Go from it to Exilium. Pretty good. We shall see, I suppose. But yeah, there you go. I'm not gonna react again, I'm not gonna react to anything else. I just wanted this. Just to have it. So yeah, just to have it like ready, you know, for the release of Girls from Light 2. So yeah, which is soon. Damn, four days, five, something like that. From the day of the recording. But yeah, there you go. I'll be there for December 3rd. First millisecond, probably not, because I have to work on 3rd of December. But yeah, I will be there. I'll see you there. Goodbye. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.